Congratulations on your new book, and it's finally out, but how does it feel knowing that the world now has this intimate look inside of your life? I'm very excited and ready. I've been working on this for a long time. It's mm -hmm. finally, people are finally able to read it and digest it, and uh, I'm excited. There is a lot to unpack in this book, a lot. And I mean, I, I zoom through it in a day. Oh, thank you. I mean, it you. was just an, an incredible read. And you I'm saw so like, glad. we watch you, have watched you on television for so many years. You had smaller roles starting at the age of six, things built for you, yeah. you land iCarly. Incredible. Um, and I loved reading about your friendship with Miranda Cosgrove. Mm. And oftentimes you wonder like, oh, do stars have that kind of relationship when they're working that closely? Things are highly competitive, but she was your emotional support, it seems. She even mm. went with you to meet your biological father for the first time. She did. What impact has her friendship had on your life? What does she mean to you? Oh my God, I love Miranda to pieces. I always will, she has such a special place in my heart. She helped me grow as a person and heal as a person. Mm -hmm. And I hope I did the same for her. And I just love her so much. That's wonderful. And I mean, of course people come and go in your in your life, throughout your life. In um, your 20s, she, I feel like a lot that happens. Sure. There's a lot of shift and, and, and natural kind of growth. But yeah, in your 20s, you're finding your footing, who you are. Do, yeah. you, do you guys still keep in touch with one another? We totally still keep in touch. Not as often as we used to. We used to be attached to the hip, so it was very, yeah. it was very much that kind of relationship throughout. Honestly, probably until our mid twenties, but yeah. now we're all uh, we're all grown up in, yeah. in our different directions. But You're I'm always rooting for her. Adulting, and she did speak out on your book. Has she reached out to you privately to discuss some of the the topics in your book? The last I heard from her, she said she was so excited to read it and sent just a very supportive, lovely text about okay. about reading the book. I can't wait for her to read it. I think she'll really like it. I yeah. think she'll laugh a lot. I, I think she'll relate. To a lot. I'm sure she will. I'm sure she will. Yeah. Is there any chance that acting could be in your future again? I'm shocked to be saying it shocked myself. Like when I have you ever had one of those thoughts where it's like, oh, where did that come from? Yeah. Why is this happening? Um, I had that uh, maybe a, I want to say a couple months back um, where I thought, you know what, there might be a way for me to act in a, from a place that feels really healing and empowered. Maybe I write something for myself. I don't know what that looks like. Uh -huh. I haven't gone that far. Definitely want to focus on writing and directing, but I'm open to the idea of acting, which feels like growth to me because I, I had um, walked away from it so definitively in my past, which felt important to me at the time. Right. But I'm just at a different place now. It could be like a dark comedy kind of thing. That's where sure. I, like, I see you. Sure. Kind of. I don't like know where you got dark comedy. I don't, I, don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how it happened. <laughs> yeah. But I could see that, and I in the book as well. You you talk about how Miranda called you before the reboot of yeah. iCarly, and you said, "I just can't." Like basically, no amount of money no fame or potential like, you know, come back for your career um, because you were worried about your mental health. Are you happy with that decision? Oh my God, yeah. And Every decision, the, the basis, uh, one of the main factors um, that plays into how the, the the types of decisions I'm, I make, the types of decisions I make is my mental health. Yeah, and that comes truly first and foremost for me. And so and that's a great decision. thing. But I mean, with the reboot, your mom, your mom's no longer living. Right. The creator is no longer a part of the show. So did you just not want to be a part of the reboot? I'm focusing on on what I choose to focus on. You know, mm -hmm. I'm focusing on writing and projects that feel authentic to me and that align with my mental health.